Hi, I'm Marianne Call. I make music and I make other things. I mostly don't make videos, so this is kind of new for me. I just made an eight minute long video with no audio, but I think we're doing better now. So uh, I am working on a big new art project um, and it's going to be a one that takes a long time and it's going to be one that digs in deep and involves a lot of research. And about two months ago, I was suddenly seized with that terrible feeling that you're forgetting something really important and you uh, the same exact feeling actually is when you've forgotten like a really important epic dream or something like that and I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that there was something crucial to my new art project that I had forgotten or that I hadn't learned yet that is somewhere in the pages of Neil Gaiman's Sandman series. So I immediately read it and back in December at this just tremendous pace and I was unsatisfied and I had to read it again and I started reading it again and found it terribly empty and I realized that what I wanted was a book club. I wanted to discuss it with people. I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to dig deeper and I wanted to be forced to read in that sophomore year college section kind of way where you know you're going to have to come to discussion and you know you're going to have to write a paper and you know you're going to have to track the themes and the, uh, and the uh, references and so I missed that kind of reading a little bit, you know, when you know you'll have to answer, when you know you'll have to speak about something. Um, I miss college. I really do. It was fun. It was expensive. It was really fun. Um, so uh, I decided that the internet enabled me to have my own book club with anyone who wanted to join. We now have um, actually about 150 people signed up for Sandman Book Club receiving the emails. Uh, a bunch of them are reading, some of them are slower than others, and you know what, that really doesn't matter because the point is not so much to have a strict schedule or do it all on time. The point is just to create a framework for discussing and for uh, learning and for thinking a little more deeply about uh, this one cool piece of art that we all happen to uh, enjoy. So. I have created some forums and we'll be chatting on the forums. I think people are going to, um, with time, be responding in all sorts of different ways, whether it's images, whether it's uh, longer writing or blog posts uh, or, uh, or videos or tumblering things or going out and finding cool fan art that's been made over the years or making their own fan art, uh, redrawing pages, which is really fun. Um, uh, finding new ways to write them or write about them, responding in poetry or music or or dance or goodness knows what. I just love how art begets more art and that's one of my favorite things in the universe. And I think that anytime we let a little bit of art in and let ourselves take time to respond to it, not 140 characters respond, but um, but a longer, slower response, the kind that really takes time, I think that that changes us a little bit. Um, I think in a big scary world that sometimes feels like it's rolling in a direction we may not like at a very, very, very high speed, it's hard to feel like art is important. Um, but sometimes there are moments when you realize art is the most important thing and that the stories that we tell each other are bigger and older uh, than anything else on the planet and how we tell them matters and how we interpret them matters. So I am busy digging in to volume one. I've been taking a ton of notes um, and I've been uh, chatting with people on the forums and already learning and thinking so much and saying things that I never knew I thought and it's it's been exciting for me. It's been um, exactly what I need to do right now. And so I hope you'll join me or I hope you'll read along. Uh, no login required. And I, uh, I don't know. I think that um, Examining art can be a really, it can be a good thing just to off the world and do once in a while. So you can read along with us at our 10 week pace. Right now we're reading a book a week. This weekend we're discussing, this is what weekend is this? This is February 22nd and 23rd. It may be the 23rd already where you are. Uh, but we're discussing volume one this weekend. We'll be discussing volume two next weekend um, at mariancall.com slash vanilla in the forums. And we have space for all kinds of responses there, and if you don't see the space that you want yet, start a new topic or make it, um, make your own website, make it, make it happen. And um, I'll be sending out weekly email reminders about you know what comes next and what you know pointing people to what discussion has already gone on, and with some questions about the next book to consider. So. Um, jump on in, take control, make it happen. And if some people by the end are super, super, super engaged and excited about it, then maybe we can do some Google Hangouts and things. Um, uh, right now we have a few too many people for that, but I, I'm up for whatever. We can try, we can try things. So, um, 
And if you find this much later, uh, after we're done with our 10-week reading period, or if you fall behind or whatever, you know, uh, I think that it will just stay there and stay open because there's never a time when it's not good to, to think and read and discuss and, um, and respond. So I hope you enjoy it. I enjoy it. Uh, when it comes to volume one, I am... I, I became immediately and particularly fascinated with Sam and I think because I feel as if it's an example of a great author not just telling a story but uh, almost throwing his shoulder against the door of what it is to be a story over and over and over. We don't just get one story, we get dozens of stories per volume, sometimes uh, hundreds, sometimes just frames and frames full of ideas of story premises. And that tells us something about the, the skeleton, about the bones, about the nature of story itself. To watch Neil take, uh, you know, just target practice, arrow after arrow after arrow at what is a story itself. And as 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 his little tiny mini arcs and his great big ten book arcs uh, emerge, it it shows us something about what it means to write, about what it means to be an author. There's a lot I didn't realize even in this first volume just about the relationship between an author and his characters. Um, I just found out accidentally through a little kind of aside in the afterward that the infamous diner scene has to do with what an author and his characters go through together, and that. I can't tell if that made it more or less creepy. Uh, I really, I want to know more about story. I want to know what its nature is. Uh, I want to know what it's made of. And I think that this series, uh, more than a lot of others, gives us a hundred, hundred different perspectives on, on, on what it is, on what story is, on what narrative is, on what it is we've been standing around campfires doing for thousands of years. Um, so... Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you'll join me um, now or later. And I hope that you have um, a spring that invites you to look deeper into lots of things and to, uh, to, and to get comfortable reconciling and not reconciling. And I like, I, like where this, I like where this is going. So thank you for joining me. Bye.